Hello, Olam Bonjour, everyone. This is Doug. And Matthew. From Macro Bros Bodybuilding. MB3. And today, our topic, we got actually from another subscriber. We've been getting some messages lately. Yeah, I like this feedback, guys. Keep it coming. Yes, and keep the comments coming, too. They were asking about cardio during bulking. Yeah, so basically, I'm going to go and tell you what is the mainstream idea, I guess, and probably the most healthy thing, is just to maintain your cardio, not obviously not as much as cutting, but maintain it maybe two or three times a week, just for overall heart health and keep your metabolism up, and just overall health. And so you basically, if you're bulking, you're not gonna get overly overweight, like fat or not. But you can go ahead and Doug will tell you, fill you in what we do. Well, us, I mean, we use, we don't necessarily just go for, like, our overall health. We kind of use cardio as a tool, so if we're cutting, then we'll use it as a tool to be able to burn more calories and eat more, but when we're bulking, we want the calories, and if anything, we need to get more because, like, our metabolism just burn it so quickly and our maintenance on calories is high, so we don't really do any specific cardio, like go to the gym and run on a treadmill for a half hour or something like that. <laughs> no way. <laughs> but, <laughs> but in our daily lives, like, he has a pool so he'll go swimming, you know, sometimes. <laughs> it's just like, it's subconsciously burning calories or so-called cardio, but he's not specifically trying to do that. Or mm -hmm. at my job, I work at a restaurant so I'll be walking around a bunch. <laughs> Which sucks. Like five hours at a time. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, I burn calories that way, but again, it's not, we're not specifically trying to do that. If I'm off from work, I'm not going to go walk around for five hours. <laughs> yeah. It's just, you just, we just live our lives like normal. And like, obviously everyone's different. Some people have, may have a slower metabolism, or their goal is obviously to lose weight, so they're going to need to use that tool, that cardio as a tool to increase their metabolism. Or increase their appetite, maybe to eat more if they're trying to bulk up. But for us, like we said, our daily activities are actually enough to basically our metabolic rate is high enough in our bodies, and we're young enough that we don't need to throw in cardio while we're bulking up. Exactly. If we maybe if our metabolisms were slow and we we're just gonna get fat from it, then we would use it. But just like anything else. I mean, like we've been saying, I know it's repetitive, but cardio is just a tool. It's nothing more than that. It's not like something special. And plus, we burn calories from working out, too. So. Oh, yeah, especially during squats or basically oh. any workout. Oh, so basically, to answer your question, we do not use cardio while bulking up. But there may be other people who do. Exactly. Like you need to be maintaining their cardio. You need to find what works for you and what your needs are and just go from there. Yeah, because while we're bulking, we want to obviously increase our caloric intake. And if you're gonna, so let's say this is our maintaining for normal weight or maintaining caloric intake, we want to increase it. And so it's already hard enough to get all the calories in with normal foods and not too many like supplement shakes. But if you're throwing cardio too, that's going to lower, you're burning more calories, so you're going to have to eat more, which is just a hassle, not only because you have to eat more, but you have to pay that money to get more food, that time to make the food, which is really annoying. Oh, yeah. Exactly. So we like to do it basically with at the least cost, of course, mm -hmm. which means less food. Exactly, because everybody knows in bodybuilding, your parents don't buy you all the food. <laughs> and that you need or whatever. So, I'm assuming your family's out there, those of you who live with your families, your mom isn't buying sweet potatoes and chicken and rice and vegetables oh. for every meal. So You're probably eating donuts. And <laughs> yeah, exactly. You gotta do whatever fits in your budget. Soft pretzels. And, <laughs> but that's our take on it. Yeah. Anyway, hope you guys liked this video. Speaking of that, you can go ahead and like the video. You can throw it up a comment. And even subscribe. And Check us out on Facebook and Twitter in the description box below. And remember guys, there's always more on the way. So, stay tuned. This is the second set. First one up, easy. Go down our chins on these.
using these straps because our wrists.